everyone, this is quite a sad video because Nibbles has passed away. Um, but in a way, um, it's also very happy. I feel a sense of happiness and pride because she did so well. She is so old. Um, she grew to be so old and have so many babies. Um, and now she's sort of with us and become one with nature. This video is sort of gonna be a moral to her. We're gonna go over her wonderful life and then we're gonna show the spot where she's resting. So first of all, basically this is a, this is a long story. We got these eggs from Insect Law. Um, sorry, I'm trying to count. Three hatched before nibbles, um, but they are, uh, they all unfortunately passed away and then loads of the eggs went bad. We were left with five eggs only. Um, and we were, I was really upset. I really didn't like that they kept dying and I regretted getting eggs. It was so stressful until then one day I'd started, I decided to start Go Mini Beasts. And my first video was just saying stuff about Mini Beasts. Nibbles wasn't actually hatched in my first video. I showed the eggs. I said, I remember I said, um, these are some stick insect eggs that should be hatching soon, but I didn't actually think they were gonna hatch. I didn't have much hope anymore. Um, and then Nibbles hatched, and she was a f the only stick insect to survive. The first one that I filmed on my channel, which I figured is something interesting. So yeah, she she hatched, um, and she was so tiny. We kept her in this little um, Tupperware container. Uh, um, those were the rest of her eggs. We kept a leaf in there for her to eat because she didn't want to move immediately. Um, and I remember, I mean, look how tiny she was. Um, she was even like slightly different colour. Can you believe that's nibbles? Can you believe it? She was, there was always something about her. She always seemed so healthy and she lived a long life, I mean. She was just there, um, being a stick insect, growing, um... Yeah, and uh, she was, um, there was something special about her. Um, her name was inspired a little bit by her previous sibling's name who passed, passed away, the last one to pass away, and then there was Nibbles, um, who hatched and lived a brilliant life. Munchie, the name was inspired by that. I didn't want to give them all the same name, that feels a bit wrong. But yeah, the one for her was Munchie. So we named her Nibbles. She loved to nibble leaves. Um, after we moved her into our home, she seemed to thrive. Um, I remember there was like a heat wave. We thought she was gonna die like Munchie and the others, but she never did die. There were times, trust me, there were times when we thought she was dead, but she was just so good at playing dead, so good at being a stick insect actor that she just, um, just came back and um yeah it was really interesting so then i remember the point of her first ever shed i thought that shed was so tiny and it really was um i remember it came out in one piece it was so cute and that was me trying to get the camera to focus but there was her shed um it was tiny and I remember I was so proud of her for getting the shed off because none of her siblings made it to the, to the point where I could see their shed. So I was so happy and excited when I found this. Um, I, I talked for ages about it, I was freaking out. Then I remember showing Nibbles, I thought she was so big, but look at her, she was still teeny tiny. Um, it was absolutely that, crazy. Um, we handled her for the first time, Amelia was there. Um, I bet you remember that video. We thought it was so cute the way she walked, and I mean it was. Um, we were we were amazed by the delicateness of her tiny feet, the way we could feel the little feet um, against our hands. We were geeking out about her for ages. We thought, you know, we thought she was so big at this point. She was like, she's so big, but she was still so tiny. She was always very gentle and calm as a baby. Nibbles was still rapidly growing. She was still shedding. Um, this was the next shed we had on video. 
I remember I thought she, I definitely thought she was so big at this point. But look at her. Antonia is bigger than her now still. This was last Christmas, as you can tell by her Christmas decorations. And again, I was so, so proud of her for shedding. And she was growing and she'd made it past Munchie and Octo and Lucky and I was so proud. After this, I made a plethora of stick insect videos. There's Nibble Shedding again, Nibble Shedding again, Stick Insect Enclosure, um, how would it feed my stick insect, Stick Insect to Shed again. I remember she was a huge part of my channel and um, I loved her so much. About two months after Nibbles' most recent shed, so the shed where she became properly sized adult, and then we noticed her red um, under her legs, which signifies she was an adult. Two months after that, we discovered that she was a girl after she laid eggs. Um, I remember being so shocked. I was in, I was really in shock, but I was also so proud of her. Again, like, I'm so proud of her, this whole thing. And I was so excited to raise her little babies. Um, she just kept laying and laying. Um, I remember I thought, oh, I'm going to do loads of egg updates. I'm going to update every single time a new egg is laid. No, I, I forgot. I have, there were way too many eggs. Um, and we thought we'd get like an eighth of the babies hatching. We got half. No, not an eighth, not an eighth, sorry. Uh, there was 80. We thought we'd get like a tenth of them. We got, we got half. Um so yeah and it's just sorry i keep forgetting what i'm gonna say if you think about what you're saying then like your brain goes blah, 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 blah. so yeah we got so many and nibbles did such a good job on laying these eggs that we got so many alive from them um she just kept laying and laying and laying and we did not know when she was going to stop, but we also, we didn't think that she was going to, um, we didn't think that they were going to hatch even, or especially that Nibbles would ever see her babies, but, I mean, this was my face when I found out that they were hatching. I was very excited and I remember showing this little baby, this little baby Antonia when she was just tiny um, to Nibbles and she obviously didn't care because she's a stick insect but I remember being so excited that she was alive to see her babies because I thought she still wouldn't be alive then I mean it was a shock to me that if you can imagine that it was a shock to me that she was still alive in August can you imagine how shocked I was that she that she was still alive in November but my point is she lived for a long time um her babies just kept hatching and hatching um then soon after that we upgraded the babies from Tupperware containers and we upgraded Antonia um and a few of her yeah, we upgraded Antonia and a few of her siblings in with Nibbles. It was only shortly after that that we found out that stick insects, um, not that they're like sociable, but they're used to having their kind around them. It's actually happier with their kind around them. And I remember seeing Antonia and Nibbles that first night next to each other. It was one of the cutest things I've seen. And I remember thinking like, oh, she seems really happy now. And I'm so happy that Nibbles got to experience living with her babies um, and she passed away with her daughters around her. Um, yeah, it's crazy that um, they really seem to have a connection even though they thought that the other one was a stick. True story where a stick insect sat on the other stick insect because they thought the stick insect was a stick. And then the other stick insect got terrified and then the stick insect thought they were being attacked by a predator so they ran away. Stick insects aren't the smartest, but my point is, um, it was it was a very cute thing. Uh, and then for the last few, the last few months of her life, she got to live with her babies, and she seemed really happy. She slowed down the laying of eggs because she was getting to an old lady, um, and yeah, it was really cute. Um, I thought it was so 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 adorable when she lived with her babies 
So then, the night that she died, um, I remember she came downstairs during the day to eat leaves, which I thought was unusual. I was like, why is she coming down during the day? Um, she ate a leaf, and then she sort of just stayed there. Um, and that's where she passed away. So she passed away whilst having a snack. And like, she knew she was gonna die, but she decided to have dinner first, so massive respect <laughs> to her for that. Um, but now she is resting in peace and she had an incredible lifetime. I mean, she, her birthday was July 29th. Um, so even when she reached a year old, we were like, she's a year old, that's crazy. Um, and then she lived past, sorry. She lived past one year, three months. That's so, so old. She was like the equivalent of a human being in their mid nineties. Um, so it's absolutely crazy. And she really lived the best life she could, I think. I really hope we gave her a good life. So that was a memorial to Nibbles, who I always considered my daughter when she was alive but now I consider her something more of a mother, if that makes sense. She seems very protective and guarding, and um, I'm not particularly religious in any way. I don't have any beliefs of what happens after death, but whatever happens, I'm sure she's resting in peace, either in heaven or reincarnated or guardian, guardian angel. Um, so yeah, um, she had a very long life, so we're gonna go have a look at her gravestone and where she's resting. So she's buried, um, I'm now going to explain like her burying site. We buried her by this ivy tree because it's where we got all of her leaves from, as you probably remember in the what do I feed my stick insect video. This is where we got all the leaves for her from. And this is also where we put her siblings and her babies that didn't make it. We put them by this ivy tree to come one with nature. So this is where we buried her, right here. This is her gravestone. Um, buried her in a little matchbox with a bit of leaf. And um, now she's under there, right by the tree where all of her food came from. And she's resting in peace. So rest in peace, Nibbles, wherever you're resting, let you rest in eternal peace. Um, we love you, Nibbles.